All right, welcome back to The Daily Mastermind. George Wright III with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education. I hope your week is off to a great start. Hopefully you didn't sleep in. (laughs) I hope you were able to uh, get up and get your morning rituals out of the way, get your day started. But even if you did not, today is the day for you to get things going. I'm going to talk to you today about focusing on stuff that you can control, not focusing on the problems, but things that you can actually, actionable things you can do to move your life forward. But let's start with the quote of the day. The quote of the day is from Ashley Judd, and it is, Daily meditation keeps me sane. Daily meditation keeps me sane. And actually, that kind of speaks to what I just said a minute ago, and that is so many times we are overloaded. We are running and gunning. We are trying to do everything we can in our schedule, and we forget that it's the important but not urgent things that will help us to be more productive and successful throughout the day. So things like daily rituals in the morning when you start your day right, whether it's meditation, journaling, working out, all of those things help you to sort through the chaos, stay grounded, stay focused on the things that you need to stay focused on. So make sure that your daily rituals are never suffering at the expense of a busy schedule. Now, I want to talk to you today about focusing and embracing the things that you can control. And in this life right now, there might not be a lot of things you feel like you can control, but you would be surprised. Earl Nightingale said, people with goals succeed because they know where they're going. So I want to start you off with this thought, and I want to ask you a couple of questions. How often do you actually pause and reflect on whether you're really headed in the right direction? Ask yourself that question right now. Am I going in the right direction? Am I doing the things I need to do in order to create that life that I want to live? We're we're sometimes caught up in our work and our priorities and things that are happening, but are you creating the life that you were meant to live, that you want to live? Because that's the real purpose here, right? Giving back, having passion, having fulfillment, but creating a life. The other thing I want to ask you is, have you established clear goals and defined where it is that you want to go? Because that's one of the biggest problems I find a lot of people have, is if you don't have clear goals, if you don't have a clear direction, if you don't have a clear vision of where you want to be, it's really likely you're not going to end up there, right? This, these questions I ask you because it leads me to this whole concept or this topic today. People are struggling so much. There's so many things going on in the world. There's so many things around you that you cannot control. It might be your work, your boss, your, it might be the price of gas. It might be the weather. It might be all kinds of things that are quite honestly affecting you. They're affecting your attitude. They're affecting your mood. They're affecting your direction. They're affecting how you live your life. And I want to ask you to start focusing on things that you can control. And the way you do that, the way you start to do that, is you start by accepting and understanding that struggle is part of the journey. It is the journey that we're on in life. See, when you face the fact that adversity is the journey, then you begin to accept and move forward. You can have progress. It's when you're fighting against that struggle, those obstacles that give you a hard time. See, life is going to be a series of ups and downs. It's going to be a series of victories and setbacks. But setbacks, if you look at them the right way, can just be a setup for a comeback. Struggles and obstacles, they're going to be here. They're a lifelong thing. You've got to learn that struggles and obstacles will be your lifelong companion. But you have to start by accepting and understanding that's part of the process. When you know it's part of the process, you don't try to fight it as much. The next thing you've got to do is you've got to focus on what you can control. And there's so much more in your life that you can control than you're giving yourself credit for. There's things like working out and diet and activities and actionable steps. But instead of fixating on the problems, you need to focus on actionable steps, tangible solutions that you can start to implement. Because when you focus on the solutions or when you focus on action or taking steps to move forward, this is when it's going to bring for you not only more fulfillment, peace, but it's going to bring you more results. When you're focused on the problems and you're not accepting that they're part of the path that you're on, you're going to be stagnant. You're going to be stuck. And that's the problem most of you have is you're stuck right now. You're stuck because you're so focused on the regrets, the problems, the obstacles that you're not actually taking steps to move forward. So once you actually accept this and you focus on what you can control, then you have to really double down and put your emphasis on 
embracing solutions because solutions may be simply personal growth because personal growth is part of just embracing what you can control and shifting your perspective. And what do I mean by shifting your perspective? Wayne Dyer said it best. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So when you start to embrace solutions and you start seeing solutions, the problems all of a sudden will begin to change. And I really believe that if you'll focus on doing just that, if in order to really move forward in your life, you accept and understand that adversity is just part of the journey and you start to focus on things you can control and take actionable steps and you focus on those solutions, you are going to change the way you view things. You're going to change the, what you do. And, and the, the amazing thing is that you're actually going to change the results you're getting in your life. You will get more results you will get more satisfaction, you will get more production. Now, sometimes it takes a little help. And so I would highly recommend, if you can, find an accountability partner. Surround yourself with the right people. When you're around the right people, you will get more results. You'll be able to stay more consistent. You'll be able to focus. So there's a lot of people that are around you that they just see the problems all the time. Those are people you need to distance yourself from. You've got to find individuals that help you. Get a mentor. Find someone that can help to guide you and keep you consistent and give you that belief transference that we always talk about. I've had mentors all through my life. And if it's something you feel like you want to find a way to be able to work with me, then I highly recommend you go to my website. Go to jointheevolution.com and look at ways you can work with me. Look, I, I've, I've put together this mastermind for free so that you can have this daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education. We've got an academy group which is a, a group of high achievers that is starting back up in May. And then there's, I do take on a few personal clients and whether that's personal mentoring or marketing, I do that once in a while, but you'd have to qualify for that. I only work with certain individuals because of my time. But either way, if you'll go to jointheevolution.com, there's some resources there for you. Take advantage of it. And once again, the reason I do the daily mastermind is so that you have that daily help. It's so amazing nowadays that you can get the help online. You can get audios and videos and masterminding. There's no excuse at this point. So that's my message for today. I hope you have an amazing day. Do me a favor and share this show. Share this show with someone, at least one person. That'll help us. It'll mean the world to me. And I think it would help you to start some conversations that might guide you and help you in your life as well. So there we go. Have an amazing day. I'll look forward to talking with you tomorrow.